a big pet peeve of mine is when I see my own students put on an overgrip and they don't do it correctly. Something like this where uh, the bottom cap of the racket is overlapped by the grip and there's gaps in the grip or even worse I've seen some of my students uh, start the wrong way and tape the grip on the bottom. I have re-gripped thousands of rackets if not more and I have my own little technique that I would like to share with you. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the plastic part of the grip. Now as obvious as this seems a lot of players forget about this part and they actually leave this plastic on the grip. So you got to remember to remove the plastic. So every grip will have an adhesive part. You can see here there's an adhesive part of this overgrip and obviously you're going to start with the thin part and we're going to simply place the adhesive part on the bottom of the handle and let's use, use this little hole on the butt cap as a reference point. Uh, this hole is there for you to remove the butt cap. If you have something stuck in your frame, you can shake the racket and get it out. So this is our starting point. Now we're gonna uh, hold the racket with the non-dominant hand with the thumb extended, and we're gonna hold the grip with the thumb and the index finger. Now we're gonna start on the bottom, right along the edge, and now we're gonna be rolling the grip with our non-dominant fingers while controlling the grip with the thumb, see this thumb is going to be on the grip while the index finger is controlling the other part and the non-dominant hand just simply rolls the grip uh, while your two dominant fingers are controlling the situation. Now you keep going all the way up until you reach the end. Now uh, one little trick that I can show you is you can adjust the thickness of the grip. So the tighter you make the spaces, the thicker your overgrip is going to be and the longer you make the spaces, uh, the thinner your grip is going to be. Obviously, you don't want gaps and going like this. Uh, you don't want any gaps, but in my case, I like the grip to be nice and thin, so I like to go right along the edge. Another thing that's happening with the modern rackets is that the handles seem to be getting shorter and shorter, which is, makes it very difficult for us two-handers. So in my case, I like to go all the way up like this, and now I use a special little trick that I want to share with you. So at the end of the grip, I make a small triangle with the end of the grip like this. You can see there's a small little triangle right at the end. So once you have this small little triangle, you're going to actually take uh, tape and you're going to put it right along uh, this triangle like this. And now you're going to start rolling the tape in this way. I actually like using uh, regular tape uh, rather than the tape uh, that comes provided with the grip and I go all the way around until the end. Now the reason why I like using uh, this triangle technique is if you happen to have a two-handed backhand and if you slide your hand uh, from the ready position uh, down onto the racket you don't want anything flapping in the way uh, so your fingers get caught. So I like having this area as smooth as possible and that's where this uh, triangle technique comes in very handy. Every racket that you buy will come with an original grip and that is not an overgrip and this can be removed but make sure that when you remove the original grip that you buy a replacement grip and not an overgrip. A replacement grip is much thicker uh, than an overgrip. All original grips on all rackets are put on right handed and this is something that you have to uh, understand. So if I hold the overgrip uh, in my dominant hand and I put my non-dominant hand on the bottom of the grip and if I start rolling uh, the grip this way I'm going to be following the original grip and this is great for right-handers. You can see here that the overgrip is following uh, the original grip. Now you can do the opposite. Um, some players prefer this and you can put a grip on lefty. Uh, Maria Sharapova is one player who puts on her grips left-handed even though she's a a right-handed player. All you have to do is switch hands. So now you hold the racket with your uh, dominant hand and the non-dominant hand will roll the grip. Now I'm not as good uh, putting grips on with my left hand. It's going to be a mess but I just want to show you what happens to the grip when it's put on uh, in this manner. Now see that the grip is going in the opposite direction. You see it's going in the opposite direction of the original grip and what happens is it becomes a little bit more rigid when you hold the overgrip in this way and some players prefer this. I personally don't like it. I like the grip to be a little bit smoother 
uh, but it's an option for you to consider uh, putting the grip on the lefty way. And finally, I want to share with you guys my personal method of how to optimize the grip even more. What I do is tape the very bottom of the grip. You see here how I have taped off the very bottom portion of the grip and now it's made the grip much bigger but only on the very bottom. Uh, professional players that use this uh, gripping techniques are Yevgeny Kafelnikov and Richard Gasquet. And this is what the grip looks like if you tape the very bottom of it. See, it looks like a big uh, bubble right on the bottom of the grip. Now, for demonstrative purposes, I made it a little bit extra big, Kafelnikov Gasquet style. These guys indeed have it this big, if not bigger. Personally, uh, this is too big for me. I have it much thinner than this. And I've copied this gripping technique from a fellow player about 20 years ago, and I've never looked back. I just love the way the grip feels uh, when it's taped on the very bottom. And what I like about it is when I grip the racket, I have the end piece of the grip inside my hand, and then my little finger is settled right below where the tape is. And now because this part is thicker, my hand feels more solid. It feels like it doesn't slip and for me, it's a much better feeling than having a thin bottom piece of the grip. In fact, if I use a racket that doesn't have tape on the bottom of the grip, I cannot play with it because it feels so thin, it feels like my hand is going to slip off the racket. So this is something that you can consider in making your hand even more stable when you hold the racket. Regrip your rackets as often as possible so that you can get faster at regripping and therefore can maybe do it at a changeover during a match. Playing with a fresh grip can actually make you play a little better. So now I'm going to time myself and see how long it takes me to regrip a racket. Now one little trick that you can do if you're playing a match, get all that annoying plastic removed off the grip. That can save you a lot of time. So now let's prepare everything and the clock starts right now. Let's see how long it takes me to put a new grip on the racket. Now if you ever watch Richard Gasquet play a match, he's probably the fastest regripper I have ever seen and he regrips his rackets on every single changeover. Now because he has a one-handed backhand, he cuts them off about halfway. Another player that used to do this on every single changeover was Vitas Gerolaitis. So I'm pretty close to the end here. Let me do my little triangle at the very end. I have my tape already prepared. And get this tape on. And there's the new grip. Remember to change your grip very frequently. I personally change grips every set when I play matches. And when I teach, I like to change it daily. There's nothing, nothing that feels better than having a fresh grip that's still tacky. So I encourage you to change grips as often as possible. If you have any questions, comment in the section below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time.